Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the second video in IB Biology Topic 11, Animal Physiology, where we will be looking at muscle structure, contraction, bones, and joints. Muscle tissue can be one of three types, smooth, cardiac, or skeletal. When examined under a microscope, skeletal muscle has visible lines, and so it is known as striated muscle. It forms the focus of this IB biology topic. Let's cover its structure. It consists of many muscle fibres, which are long cells formed by the fusion of embryonic muscle cells. The fibres are surrounded by a single plasma membrane known as the sarcolemma, which contains many nuclei. Within each fibre are many smaller fibres known as myofibrils. These are surrounded by a single membrane known as the sarcoplasmic reticulum which stores calcium and acts to coordinate contraction. Between myofibrils are many mitochondria to produce ATP for contraction. Each myofibril is made up of many smaller units known as sarcomeres. These are defined as the smallest functional unit of skeletal muscle and give myofibrils their characteristic banding pattern, alternating between light and dark bands. In the centre of each light band is a disc structure called the Z-line, and sarcomeres run from one Z-line to the adjacent Z-line, with the centre of each sarcomere being termed the M-line. Each sarcomere contains thin actin filaments attached at one end to a Z-line. Between layers of actin filaments are thick myosin filaments, arranged in an alternating pattern. Each myosin filament has many heads which form cross bridges with binding sites on actin during contraction. Due to the overlapping of filaments, the region where actin and myosin overlap is denser and so darker in colour, giving its name of the dark band. Meanwhile, the region where actin is not overlapping is less dense, giving it the name of the light band. You should ensure you are comfortable identifying such segments of a sarcomere on an electron micrograph like this. So, you now understand the structure, but what causes muscles to contract? Muscles do not contract continuously, and so in their resting state must be inhibited. This occurs thanks to a protein known as tropomyosin, which blocks binding sites on actin filaments to prevent myosin heads from binding. When stimulated to contract by a motor neuron, the sarcoplasmic reticulum releases calcium ions that bind to a protein called troponin, this changes conformation and subsequently moves tropomyosin, exposing the actin binding sites to allow for contraction to occur. But what is this process? Muscle contraction is a six-step cycle in which myosin heads pull the actin filaments inwards towards the centre of the sarcomere, shortening the sarcomere and overall muscle fibre length. This cycle can be learnt as beginning at any of the six steps, but the sequence must remain the same. It is as follows. ADP myosin head complexes bind to myosin binding sites to form cross bridges. ADP is released from the myosin heads, triggering inward swivelling of the heads known as the power stroke. This brings actin filaments inwards towards the centre of the sarcomere. Then, new ATP molecules bind to myosin heads, which breaks the cross bridges, detaching myosin from the myosin binding sites. ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP and phosphate, energising a change in angle of the myosin heads, away from the centre of the sarcomere. The myosin heads are now considered cocked, and a restore of potential energy. Myosin heads once again bind to myosin binding sites, this time further from the centre of the sarcomere. This process repeats, causing the sarcomere to shorten. When the neuron stops firing, calcium ions are reabsorbed by the sarcoplasmic reticulum, causing tropomyosin to block myosin binding sites stopping the process. Since contraction involves greater overlap of actin and myosin, with resulting shortening of sarcomeres, we can make several observations with regards to the banding patterns. The Z-lines move closer together, and the light bands reduce in size. Let's summarise this with an example question. Explain how a muscle fibre contracts following depolarization of its plasma membrane. Depolarization triggers calcium to be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Calcium binds to troponin, moving tropomyosin away from myosin binding sites. Cross bridges form between myosin heads and myosin binding sites. ADP is released, 
triggering the heads to swivel inwards during the power stroke. Actin is pushed inwards toward the centre of the sarcomere. ATP binds to myosin heads, breaking cross bridges. ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP, providing energy to cock myosin heads. The process repeats, shortening sarcomeres until calcium returns to the sarcoplasmic reticulum and tropomyosin blocks myosin binding sites. So, muscles contract and shorten in response to stimuli. But how does this allow us to move? Well, they are attached to structures called bones. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.